Ed Hockley, it was announced today, is retiring oh, from the National oh, Football League. Oh, League. man. What a bummer. Did you give any reason? Did not see a reason. Well, I have it no. right here. The Rich Eisen Show has exclusive, an exclusive, unlike any other we've ever had. I have right here in front of me on my computer Ed Hockley's retirement letter. Is this real or is this a bit? Well, take a listen. You can figure it out <laughs> okay. for yourself. Okay. I have it right here, and I'm reading directly. To whom it may concern football fans everywhere and ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> Many of you have known me as an official for the National Football League for the last 28 years, but I started refereeing football at the high school level in 1973, and that's when I first discovered my love of combining my favorite sport with my other favorite endeavor, explaining things in three long sentences that can be really explained in one short one. <laughs> so it's been a long time of refing and talking and talking and refing. So after further review, I've decided to finally no longer get up every day and do what I do in order to put food on the table, keep a roof over my family, and keep doing what I love to do every day. In other words, I've decided to retire. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have to head to the gym, make sure that my body remains the temple that it is, and of course, make sure that the lactic, lactic acid buildup gets addressed by a vigorous regimen of stretching. In other words... I'm off to do curls. <laughs> Yours in retirement, Edward Hockley, Esquire. Yeah, man. I mean, that's fantastic. How great is that? Ed's, it's a, it's a Rich Eisen show exclusive. Ed's the greatest. I of mean, all he time. goes out the way we all loved him. Nobody <laughs> explains anything better. Nobody than rocked the Smedium. <laughs> Zebra jersey, quite like Edward Hockley, Esquire. Cold day, gun still out. I'm just wondering, you know, and I don't mean to stir it up. I don't mean to stir it up. I'm just wondering if this is part of the league's mandate to shorten games. <laughs> he just felt the pressure. He felt the pressure, and um, and he he just re he read the writing on the wall. You know, Gronk was the one rumored to be heading to the WWE. I I think it's Hockley. Oh, That's Hockley. why Hockley's That's retiring. Way. <laughs> Hockey we versus Vince McMahon. He would just, you know what he'd call you know what he'd call his signature move? He'd call it the people's crook of my arm, uh the outward part of the crook of my arm, uh in between my my forearm and my my tricep and bicep. It's the peep otherwise the, the people's elbow. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.